Pippen. Then it's Jordan, and it's Samuels in at the point. Carry. And the basket good. Nice way for him to get started here early. And guys, hopefully a sign of things to come from him here. Jordan, the pass to Pippen, dishes it to Samuels. Feeds to Cummings. Cannot hit, and Brooklyn will come the other way. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Well, Kevin, they constructed a perfect offensive game plan going into that game, and it was uh, quickly apparent how powerless the defense was to stop them. Powerless is a good way to put it, Steve. We're unlikely to see that many uncontested baskets again anytime soon. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Well, he's watching his club miss a lot of shots that they normally make, and that has to be frustrating. So uh, I think he's going to call this time out just to try to see if they can be more aggressive, get them to the free throw line, maybe. Sometimes that's the best solution for them, but ultimately I think they'll be able to shoot themselves out of this slump. But in the meantime, maybe getting to the free throw line will help. Here is Samuels. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Jordan. Hits the jumper in space. Maybe they're still working out the kinks defensively because that was a blatant mistake. The Nets have gone two or three here to start out the game. Devont sets a screen. There's the pass to Miracle Man. Six on the shot clock. Goes up with it. No good from Devont. The Bulls have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Samuels dishes to Cummings. And here is Jordan. Averaging six points per contest. A three, Pippen. That's tipped. It's three on three on the fast break. Terry Cummings pulls it in. Cummings got three rebounds so far in the game. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And Jordan gets it to go. Well, he's off to a good start, and he's a guy who we know. I mean, if he gets going early, he can give you problems all day. Here's Cassell. He's coming off a 10-point game against Washington. Pivot's a screen on Cummings. Here's Clancy. And so he draws. Foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And the offense just getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Earn it from the line. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. The bulldozer comes in for Miracle Man, and it's the quick in for Cassell. And so he hits both. 110 left in the first. Cameron, the pass to Samuels. Rodman sets a screen. Six to shoot. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Kept alive, passes it to Cameron. Here's the bulldozer. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Out left to the wing. Here's Van Horn. And again, it's the Nets missing. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Brown is checked in for Brooklyn. Here's the quick. Pass to the bulldozer. Fires for three. And the Nets miss again. 
Here's Kukoc. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter! Boy, a big bonus for them to end the quarter as he beats the buzzer. Talk about maximizing every last possession you've got. Right there, it was done. Tie game. In Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And uh, from Brooklyn, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? They've done a nice job on the offensive boards here, guys, and I think that was the difference in that first quarter, really pounding the offensive glass. Well, they set the tone early with their mindset, their tenacity, and their hustle. I mean, that's the way they've come out, and it's um, served them well. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. We've got Rivers. Dennis Rodman is out there at Tony Kukoc. And there's Harper, Anthony. and it's Jordan in at the two spot. A great second quarter here after a difficult first. I'd say they knocked the rust off. Sometimes it takes a little while before you get the blood flowing and you find your rhythm. Now here's Jordan. Outside, Rodman. He feeds it to Kukoc. Outside for Jordan. Cans the shot from the wing. Jordan's got six points. It's got to be nice for them to know that game in and game out, his offense is going to be there for him. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Over to the wing. Bradshaw, he's guarded by Harper. Here's Van Horn. It's all in by the Bulls. Rodman's got four rebounds now tonight. The drive by Jordan, so they take the lead. Jordan's got four points this quarter. Brooklyn trailing. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. You know, the last few weeks, you see how Brooklyn stacks up here. Second in steals, fourth in opponent points per game, and they also show up as a top five three-point shooting team. I mean, that's tall cotton there. Elite level marksmanship from behind the arc. No, they just play hard, Clark. They play hard every single night. And that's really shown in those steals totals that you talked about. Uh, they, they really attack the offense. They try to make every possession a difficult one. And when they're on their game, they're forcing turnovers, creating havoc, and then getting out in transition. So it's Chicago now. After the basket by Brooklyn. The pass to Kim. Now here's Cummings. Defense right on him. Nice open look, but it's no good. Can't get a much better look than that, though. Sure can't. Not one you'd expect him to miss there. It's all in by the Bulls. A minute 42 left now here in the second. For three, Pippen sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. 132 left to play in the first half. 
They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. Here's Cassell. Misses the three. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they've chased down that pumpkin often. Now here's Pippen to the left wing. Here's Cameron. Second chance shot from the arc. Can't get it to go. Nets trail by three. Down low, Kittle, and he slams it one-handed. I was on the one-hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, you got, you got that right, Kevin. He's such a reliable finisher. Chicago calls timeout. He did not look too happy about some of the things he saw on the court. So I would expect some changes here. I think it's the right move, quite honestly. I mean, they just didn't look sharp or at their best out there. So take the timeout and give yourself a chance to regroup. The quickies check in for Brooklyn. Harper kicks to Bird. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Harper. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. Kukoc. That's good. Kukoc has got five. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Cassell. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Now Harper. He dishes it to Bird. He kicks it to Kukoc. Over to the left wing. Let's go. The shot is off. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Bulls out front, leading by just two. And join us right back here after the break. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Yeah, he played a very mature first half offensively, just finding gaps and making good decisions, getting into the defense and knocking down shots. Well, the way he played that first half, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency. Cassell is out there with Miracle Man. Then it's Devox. Then it's the Magician. So that's the Nets five. For the lead, shot is off. And it's Chicago the other way. Their last encounter was in Chicago. Yeah, they didn't play well that night. They weren't very aggressive. Uh, they shot the ball too often from the perimeter, never got it inside, and they were also very shaky from the foul line. Nets trail by four. 